Hello guys, so I would like to share with you this free web hosting where you can also host your WordPress application or PHP application for free without putting your credit card in the sign up. But I'm going to show you how you can get access to this because you won't be able to get access instantly the moment you sign up. So just watch this video so you will know the information about getting account here in googiehost.com. So I'm not an affiliate of this, so you can go straight to this website, but let me show you how you can get an access. So once you're in the sign up, you can either have the tab domain of Google Host, which I did, I'm going to show you later. Or if you have a spare domain, then you can sign up using your actual domain and then later on change your change the name server of your actual domain in your separate registrar you can do that as well but in my case i just use this register a new domain and i just chose the existing subdomains available here in google host now the email will be landed mostly in your spam so here you just need to verify your email so as you can see right here you just need to verify your email and after verifying your email, you will receive a confirmation that your account will be in a manual approval. So you will need to wait for at least 24 hours to get approval. Mostly, it will be more than that. In my case, I got it after three days. So here, as you can see, after three days, I got the approval. And this is the subdomain I use when signing up. Again, if you have an actual domain, you can use this. You can use the option that I showed you earlier and then change your the, the name server of your domain. Now let's go to the cPanel. So once you have the account, you will see here it's active. While waiting for your account, you will see here it's pending. So it this was pending for three days. So I thought I was not gonna get the free account, but after three days, I got it. Now here, I'm going to show you how you can install the WordPress here because it's quite different from the usual cPanel. So we go inside this. So you will see all the details of your free hosting here. You can use this guide if you want to share your work to your client or you just want to do some sample WordPress that you can practice installing themes or plugins or setting up contents, things like that. So you can use this or you can have it as your actual website if you're just hosting a small website, which I think 50 to 100 contents. So you can do that here. Now, to install a WordPress, there's no cPanel here. So everything is here. You just need to go to this application icon. Now, once you're here, you will see the installed application is empty. Just go here in the install new tab and select this blogs. Now here, you will see all the versions of WordPress. So you can just select the latest. So select this. Once you see this pop up right here, here, very important in the protocol, do not change this. Keep it as HTTP for now. Later on, we will change it to HTTPS because if you change it to HTTPS now, the Rebian issue with the redirection. So we have to select HTTP for now because at the moment, this account right here won't have the SSL. So let's keep it HTTP. So database name, so you can keep it short, something like that. And ev everything will be as is. You can leave everything as the default. So just grab the admin details just in case later on we will need to sign in. So once everything looks okay, just click on install. So when you're installing it, you will notice this error, error in creating cron job. You can ignore that, close this, and then go back to this installed application tab. Now, once you're here, just refresh the page and you will see that's your installation. We can now start accessing this WordPress website. So you can click this login icon, just click this and there you go. You have your WordPress installation. Now this is your temporary subdomain or your subdomain, which you can distribute to your client. If you want to show your work or if you want to show the content that they're asking you to create. So you can do this when you need a free PHP WordPress hosting. So you can go ahead to googiehost.com. Now, what I wanted to do is because we don't have the HTTPS as I showed you, it's currently in HTTP, but what we can do here, we will go to this website, zero SSL.com because here we will be able to acquire free SSL certificate for 90 days, and then you can renew that. So you don't need to spend 20 or $30 per year for the SSL. Now, this is the step that you're going to do because it's quite different in a Googie host when you are uploading your certificate. So just watch this carefully. So click this new certificate. 
and here we will need to enter the subdomain and that will be this one ice fishing that this one now let's go ahead and pop that in as you can see it got recognized and go to the next step so here you just need to choose 90 day certificate so it's free click on next and here just disable all these options so you don't be charged to anything so click next so just take everything as is so you don't need to change this configuration so click next step and as you can see right here you just choose this option free and then click on next and you will choose how you're gonna verify your domain it's either via email or file upload the ECS is the file upload right here so you just need to download this download auth file so I'll click that now so once you have the file go to this file manager and inside the domains right here take your ice fishing subdomain and here select the public HTML here we will need to create a folder which mentioned right here so the folder will be that well dash known then this one PKI dash validation so I'm gonna create that since the that well known is existing if it's not so just create this directory by clicking this create create directory right here so I'm, I'm going inside the well known and inside here I'm gonna create directory which is this one PKI validation and click on create now inside this I will upload the validation file that we downloaded earlier so click these three dots and upload so here I just browse the file and click on upload and once the file is there this should now work so we click on next step and here we did verify domain right here so there you go as you can see the message congratulations your domains have been verified so you just need to wait for a few seconds and there you go you will see this green message right here now to install this certificate you download this zip file which contains these three files right here see a bundle certificate and private key now going back to your dashboard in Google Host, select this option SSL certificates and you can see right here certificates private keys and CSR keys so here in the certificate tab click these three dots right here and click on upload certificate then browse this certificate.crt right here so let's do that so actually you don't need to browse you have to open the certificate so right click this one and then open with a text editor and here just copy this entire certificate paste that here in the certificate text box and the private key do that do the same step with the private key to open this private that key and then copy the content right here click on upload and there you go so you see the other file which is the CA bundle it's optional to upload the CA SSL certificate but let's do it anyway since it's available so the same thing you just need to open this CA bundle and then copy the certificate and paste that right here click on upload and there you go your certificate has been installed now the last step that you have to do is click this let's encrypt so basically you are enabling the certificate so leave everything as is click encrypt and then in your blog since initially you install it in HTTP what you have to do is go to settings click general and then here change both of these to HTTPS so that the database will be updated your site will be updated and every time it goes to this URL right here it will automatically redirect to HTTPS so we're gonna have to save the changes and there you go your site is now encrypted with HTTPS if you notice that it isn't HTTPS yet just wait for a few minutes or a few seconds and then refresh the page it will acquire this certificate right here if you install that correctly